Hello, in this demo, we will see how the Big Cloud Fabric integrates with VMware NSXT and is an ideal underlay to get the maximum benefits from your VMware NSXT deployments. Big Cloud Fabric is powered by an STN controller to build a leaf spine fabric using open networking switches. Unlike box by box networks, Big Cloud Fabric provides a single pane of glass and integrates with various VMware STDC products and operates the entire fabric as a single logical switch. Now, how is Big Cloud Fabric different from traditional networking fabrics? Big Cloud Fabric leverages the cloud networking principles which use construct of virtual private cloud like AWS VPC for logical isolation across multiple tenants. Similarly, Big Cloud Fabric controller uses enterprise VPCs or eVPCs in the fabric for each of your VMware deployments, allowing logical isolation, multi-tenancy, and self-service APIs, thus providing a public cloud-like experience for your on-prem deployments. Using BCF with NSXT enables you to have an optimal STN architecture for both overlay and underlay. With eVPC automation, BCF will auto-detect your ESXi or KVM transport nodes as soon as they are physically connected to any port in the fabric. BCF will also auto-create static or LSCP MLACs based on the uplink profile selected for these nodes. For all the overlay logical switches, BCF will auto-provision the transport network in the fabric, thus allowing the Geneve tunnels to be created instantaneously without any manual configuration. And if you are using NSXT segments for applications that prefer VLAN-based transport, BCF will auto-provision the corresponding segments in the underlay, allowing for instant connectivity. Along with the automation benefits, BCF eVPC for NSXT also provides network admins with real-time visibility into the NSX hosts, tabs, VMs, and logical switches. Real-time Fabric Trace provides one-click troubleshooting for Geneve tunnels across the BCF underlay without any box-by-box -box hopping. Now let's take a look at the demo topology. BCF controller is managing a two-rack leaf spine fabric that provides underlay connectivity to the two ESXi and one KVM node as shown here. BCF controller is communicating with the NSXT manager over the management network. Now looking at the logical topology, we can see that each node has been configured as a NSX step and has VMs sitting behind it. A transport subnet will be auto-created in the NSXT eVPC to provide the underlay connectivity for establishing the Geneve tunnels between these nodes. VM5 and VM6 shown here are attached to a NSXT segment, which is a VLAN-based logical switch. Corresponding segments in the NSXT eVPC on BCF will be auto-created to provide the connectivity for these VMs. Now let's take a closer look at the NSXT eVPC automation benefits provided by BCF. But let's first examine the current state in the NSXT GUI. We can see one KVM and two ESXi nodes set up as transport nodes. These node status are currently showing down as Geneve tunnels have not yet been established between these nodes. Looking at the BCF GUI, we can see that no eVPC for NSXT has been created. There are no static or LCP MLACs created yet and no segments created either. Since the underlay is not yet provisioned, as expected, the pings between the taps are failing and the Geneve tunnels are down. As a result, the VMs connected to the VNI-based logical switches cannot communicate. Also, the VMs connected to VLAN-based logical switches or NSXT segments cannot communicate either as L2 network in the fabric has not yet been configured. Now, we will enable the NSXT eVPC in BCF. All we need to do is provide the IP and login credentials for the NSXT manager and the name for the NSXT eVPC and we are done. Once the eVPC is created, we see that the static or LACP MLACs are automatically created. The transport network for Geneve tunnels and the NSXT segments also gets auto-created. We can now go back to NSXT GUI and see that the node status for the NSXT transport nodes is now up. The pings between the taps are now working, allowing the Geneve tunnels to be established between these nodes. As a result, the VMs connected to the VNI-based logical switches can now communicate. Also, since BCF auto-created the segments for the NSXT segments, 
VMs connected to the VLAN based logical switches can now communicate. Next, we will take a closer look at the visibility and the troubleshooting benefits provided by BCF EVPC for NSXT. BCF GUI provides a quick summary of the number of NSXT hosts, virtual switches and endpoints. BCF GUI also shows an easy to interpret graphical representation of NSXT host networking showing the overlay and the VLAN virtual switches for each host, the host uplink ports and how they are connected to the BCF underlay. It also shows the real-time status of host uplinks for easy troubleshooting. The endpoint table shows a lot of useful information to the network admins about the auto-discovered VMs and TEPs such as the name, power state, and how they are connected to the BCF underlay along with the IP addresses. The logical switch view provides real-time underlay-overlay connectivity visibility in a single graphical view making it very easy to trace the end-to-end -end path for the NSXT VMs. You can see all the NSXT VMs, the NSXT logical switches they connect to, the transport nodes and the taps, and how the host uplinks are connected to the BCF. Lastly, we will see how we can trace the paths taken by the Geneve tunnel across the BCF underlay. Fabric Trace allows the admins to trace the end-to-end -end path of a packet with a single click and no box-by-box -box hopping. A sample result of the fabric trace is shown here, which shows the path taken by the Geneve tunnel between the NSXT transport nodes across the BCF underlay. Now let's see how we got this information. Using BCF test path, we can select the Geneve tunnel source IP, destination IP, and simply run the fabric trace. The result shows all the switches the packet traversed, along with the ingress and the egress interface for each hop. Now if the trace is incomplete, you can see how far the packet traversed along the fabric and pinpoint the offending switch. Additional details about each hop are also presented on the left hand side. BCF is an ideal underlay for all your VMware SDDC products. With EVPC automation, BCF makes the network invisible and operates it at the speed of the VMs. To learn more about the EVPC benefits for vCenter, VMware Cloud Foundation, vSAN, vxrail and also to try out the BCF hands-on labs, please visit the links shown here. This concludes the demo. Thanks for watching.